Guy Verhofstadt has fired a parting shot at the UK as it finally leaves the European Union and declared, Britain is a European country, with a European destiny. The European Parliament's Brexit coordinator and chair of the Brexit steering group have been a fierce critic of the UK government's position since the historic vote to leave the EU in June 2016 and he could not resist taking another swipe just hours before the country cuts its ties with Brussels. The Belgian MEP tweeted, Dear Britain, in your absence, we will look after the single market you did so much to build. We may not share your definition of sovereignty but we part as friends and allies. Brexit doesn't change the reality that Britain is a European country, with a European destiny. The EU Future Relationship Act received the backing of the Commons and Lords as the government rushed approval through both houses in a single day. It was announced that the legislation had been granted royal assent at 12.25 a.m. this morning, signing the agreement finally reached between the UK and EU on Christmas Eve into law. The Act paves the way for the deal to take effect at 11 p.m. tonight when the current Brexit transition period expires. Mr. Verhofstadt had earlier complained the historic Brexit trade deal between the EU and UK was less ambitious than the bloc was hoping. He said, finally a historic and unprecedented deal in the interest of all is reached. While less ambitious than we wanted, through binding arbitration it fully preserves the single market. Thanks to Michel Barnier our union came out of these negotiations more united and stronger. I hope future UK politicians will build on this partnership so we can regain the close relationship the EU and UK deserves. It will be a first step in the return of the UK into the European family. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and European Council President Charles Michel formally signed the agreement yesterday before it was passed into UK law in the early hours of this morning. Following the brief ceremony in Brussels, the documents were then flown to London by the RAF where Boris Johnson put his name to it. Mr. Michel said, the agreement that we signed is the result of months of intense negotiations in which the European Union has displayed an unprecedented level of unity. It is a fair and balanced agreement that fully protects the fundamental interests of the European Union and creates stability and predictability for citizens and companies. Mr. Johnson has hailed Brexit as a new beginning in the Britain's history.